hi guys welcome back to my channel is debbie in the building as always guys if you are new to my channel you're highly welcome if you are my old returning subscriber you're highly welcome in today's recipe i'll be sharing with you guys how i made this tasty delicious and yummalicious coconut rice you know that word your malicious is my own dictionary word eh so guys if you want to know keep watching bless the lord oh my soul for his right hand has gotten us victory Woo! these are the ingredients i'll be using for this coconut rice i have my coconut milk this is the brand i'm using then i have my seasoning cube ginger powder salt thyme garlic powder my curry and my rice i'm using papoid rice this is the brand of rice we use here in italy this is the same rice we use in nigeria as well so if you have basmati rice you can also make use of it you can use any rice of your choice brown rice and the rest of them you can always use any rice of your choice then here are my in my vegetables the vegetables i'll be using to garnish it you know this is my beef what i have is beef if you don't have beef you have chicken or fish you can use it also and finally my scotch bonnet pepper i'll start by boiling the meat i've already washed the meat and place it in the pot and added and added all the spices I need for the meat, you know. As you can see, I didn't add any water. This is how I usually cook my meat. If you want your meat to be tasty, don't add water. Allow it to steam and bring out the water by itself. So, guys, I covered it up, as you can see. And I'll be coming back once the water dries up. Now the water has dried up, you know. This water now is the one that came out from the meat. I did not add any other water while boiling it. But right now, I will go ahead and now add water for the meat to cook properly. Yeah, if you want your meat to be tasty, cook it this way, guys. So that the meat will absorb all the spices, you know, you use in cooking it. While the meat is cooking, I will quickly go ahead and wash my rice yeah because I've already placed it there for it to boil you know so and also wash my vegetables and chop them up guys this time if you are using vegetables make sure you wash it with salt or by a tablet of soda wash it properly before using so here is my chopped vegetables and my washed rice so i also went ahead and opened up my coconut milk yeah back to the pot i've already removed the beef and placed it in my oven to grill it yeah i prefer grilling my beef to frying it i think it's better to grill it than frying it so in the meat stock, I poured in the coconut milk, rinsed it, the tin a little bit and poured in a little water. Then went ahead and added the remaining um, spices and onion. I added onion, the remaining spices, ginger, and a little thyme that I left over, you know, because I used others to cook the beef so the remaining one i poured it inside and also my scotch bonnet pepper then i went ahead and poured in my rice as you can see after pouring in the rice i went ahead to stir everything up properly as i'm stirring it i noticed that the water is not enough so i will also add additional water to it then i tested for salt and everything was perfect it was okay just the way 
I wanted it, you know. In this channel, if you notice, I don't really like using much spices in my food, yeah. In this house, we don't eat too much spices, yeah. So, guys, as you can see, I've finished stirring it up, you know. I added additional water because I noticed that the water is not enough, you know. But I made sure I didn't add much water because I don't want my rice to overcook. Yeah. So I covered it up. I covered it up and then went to the other burner, placed my frying pan and added a um, little vegetable oil. It's true, I didn't even show vegetable oil. <laughs> so guys, I added vegetable oil, allowed it to heat up a little bit and then i went ahead and added my onion fried it a little bit after frying the onion for a few minutes i went ahead and added my curry yeah the curry does the magic the curry gives your veggies and your food a nice color <laughs> guys check out the color now check out after frying it a little bit again i went ahead and added my carrots after adding the chopped carrots i also went ahead and added the green beans yeah i usually um add my carrots and green beans before adding the bell peppers that is because carrots and green beans are hard you know so it takes a longer time to cook so i always put it first and fry it for few seconds before adding the peppers you know now after stirring it for a few minutes i went ahead and added all my bell peppers the red, the green, and yellow bell peppers, as you can see. Then I'll go ahead and stir it and stir and stir and stir. Guys, the secret um, in cooking or will I say frying vegetables, anytime you have mixed vegetables like this, the secret to it, if you want it to be tasty, is this Maggi aroma. Yeah. This is the secret. Anytime you put it in your meat vegetables, it gives us this unique taste. Just try it, guys. So I went ahead and added it up. If you don't have this um maggi aroma, you can also add um your soya sauce. I think soya sauce also does the job. So you can also use it. So anytime I'm frying mixed vegetables like this, I usually put it in my mixed vegetables, whether for, um, mixed vegetables for sauces or fried rice. Yeah, it gives it a unique taste. So after frying it for a few minutes, as you can see over there is my pot of coconut rice. So for me to give it a nice color, you know. I went ahead and poured in the minced vegetables I just finished frying. This vegetable is just to garnish it and you know give it a nice color because if you leave it just white like that somehow. So for it to be appetizing to the eyes also. <laughs> so I went ahead and stirred everything up properly. Yeah, you have to do a good job of turning and turning and turning, you know. <laughs> oh my God. So guys, I went ahead and mixed everything up, you know, stirred it up properly, as you can see. So that everything will um, incorporate very well. And not at the end i'll be having um some parts white and some parts um um fanta cook and fanta <laughs> so guys 
guys, I told everything very well. This is the final look of my coconut rice, guys. That is basically it. You know, after mixing it up, I just lowered the heat, you know. Lowered my gas cooker a little bit. Covered it up to steam. And steam for a few minutes. My coconut rice is ready. Yeah, that is all. As you can see, it is ready. Trust me, guys, this coconut rice is delicious. So tasty and very yummy. I don't even know the word to describe it. Anyway, that is all for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Stay blessed and stay safe. See you all in my next video. Bye.